Well, if you're wondering if summertime is here, the answer is yes. Because this month, at the end of the month, we have one of Greeley's premier events, and that is the Greeley Arts Picnic. Now, if you don't know about that, you need to continue to watch here, and we'll give you all the details. And here today to tell us more about that is Andrea Herring, who is the Special Events Coordinator with the City of Greeley. Andrea, great to see you again. Same here, Amy. Thank you so much. Okay, as I said, we've got Greeley Arts Picnic coming up, and for anyone who maybe has not heard about this great event that happens right here in Lincoln Park. Can you give us some idea of what it's all about? Of course. Well, this year is the 43rd annual Arts Picnic, and it always happens the last full weekend. So the last full Saturday and Sunday of July. So that is the 30th and 31st of this year. All right, so we've got those dates and I'm sure they're running right now to make sure that they get those written down because there is a plethora of activities and bands and music and food and everything that you can think of that happens here in downtown Greeley. So as I mentioned about the music and bands, that's one of the things that personally I kind of get a kick out of. We have two stages that are happening during the two day event. Can you give us an idea of what some of the music we're gonna hear and maybe possibly some of the bands that might be around? Sure. So I need to point out first that yeah. the kickoff oh, to the arts picnic sure. is that Friday night, the 29th, um, and it's a combined venture with Friday Fest downtown. And of course, our favorite band, Funkafino, will be back this Wait, year. Yeah. Um, and then for the Saturday and Sunday lineups, there will be two stages, a center stage and plaza stage with a total of 14 bands through the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Um, and there's everything from salsa, rock, country swing, to jazz and blues. Yeah, so I've, I've always, for those of you, just to give you a little bit of behind the scenes, Andrea and I work together a lot with those bands and they're always so much fun and they love being here at the Arts Picnic um, and they love the audience. This year, I want to encourage everybody to get up out of their chairs and do a little bit of dancing. We're always looking for that, people who are interacting. So it's okay to do that. You've got permission here. So if anybody mentions it, just say, I saw it on Inside Greeley. So as you mentioned, we have that kickoff that's happening on Friday night um, down on the plaza. And that goes along with all of the Friday Fests that are happening in downtown. But this is a special one because it is that kickoff. Um, I'm assuming, much like all of our Friday Fests, that event is free as well as Arch Picnic. Absolutely free to everyone and there will be free popcorn and buskers galore and some sponsors and something for everyone. All right, so kicking on over to Saturday and Sunday. As I mentioned, so much happening. Again, those two stages, but what are some of the other things that folks can experience while they're down here? For sure. Well, this year we'll have over 150 vendor booths with everything from paintings to pottery to jewelry, wood, metal, yard art, you name it, stuff for the inside and outside. Uh, we'll have a beer garden, of course, mm -hmm. right near the, the center stage. We'll have kids activities and kids activities throughout the park as well. All right, now you mentioned about um, the kids activities. Along with that, there's a ki all kinds of activities. I mean, obviously there's booths that are selling things, but then there's lots of things for the kiddos to do as well, and mom and dad if they want to. Mm -hmm. So for the kids, all ages, even adults, if you should like, uh, there's Creation Station, and there is a new craft every two hours for, for the kids, and you can expect some great volunteers, maybe some of the UNC athletes will be in attendance helping um, with that as well as we'll have um, balloon artists walking around the park and then of course we'll have the musician. That's right we've got a magician and he does some really cool stuff I have to say so, so sometimes I'm just like wait what just happened but I just move on and I move on to the next great thing that's happening down at the arts picnic. One thing I want to make sure that we touch on real quick is uh, how people get down here you know sometimes um, there's plenty of parking, but sometimes folks like to park a little ways away. There'll be a shuttle service this year. For sure. So don't come down here and think there's no parking and go home. <laughs> Please don't do that. There are, um, is a shuttle service that runs every 10 minutes. It's free um, from Heath uh, Junior High School. Okay. Awesome. And before, while we wrap this up just real quick, uh, can we just do a real quick week recap of those dates and also the times because they're a little bit different each day? Yes, they are. So don't forget the kickoff on Friday night, the 29th from 7 to 9. And Saturday, uh, the event starts from 9 and goes till 4. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. 
Very good. All right, so we're going to shift gears from that summer activity to yet another. They keep you kind of busy. And this one is neighbor. <laughs> it's fine. This one's neighborhood nights, and I love this event. And what it is, in a nutshell, is movies in the park. Yep, movies in the park. It's as simple as that. Um, except for we should say it's free. It is it's free. It's free and open to everyone. Um, we pick parks throughout the city of Greeley, and we try to switch them up every every um, Friday night. And those start August fifth and run through September second. Okay, and of course we want to mention that a lot of those are, well, pretty much all the movies are either G or PG, so they're family oriented. Mm -hmm. Very family oriented, for sure. All right. Any other activities that are happening along with those movies? Uh, I'm hoping that my UNC athletic friends, athletes, join us and have some pre-show entertainment and interaction with the kids. And then of course our sponsors will be in attendance as well with some great freebies. Right. Now, when I show up for neighborhood nights, some great tips for folks, things they might want to bring along with them, a chair, a blanket, bug spray. Mm -hmm. Yep. All parks are sprayed the week of uh, the movie, but please plan on bringing extra bug spray, um, blankets. Sometimes it gets cold in yep. the night, so yep. not even blankets to just sit on, but to cover up with. And then um, a lot of families bring out their dinners and lots of movie snacks, of course. All right. Well, like I said, very family oriented such a great way to spend your evenings in the parks all around Greeley. Um, so just to highlight everything that we've covered today, going from the Greeley Arts Picnic, the Neighborhood Nights, let's jump back to Greeley Arts Picnic. Where can folks get more information? Sure. If they go to GreeleyArtsPicnic.com, okay. it'll have everything on there. It'll have the lineup of entertainment. It will have a list of vendors. Um, it'll have a list of the food vendors the creation station schedule. Pretty much it's a one-stop shop to answer all your questions um, Arts Picnic related. And there's also going to be the guide, I'm assuming, the Arts Picnic guide that's kind of popular with folks to carry that around and find so they can find everything that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. This year it will be in the Arts and Entertainment section of the Greeley Tribune. It'll go out to 60,000 households. We'll have extra on hand um, as well as QR codes the day of at the event to scan for, for more information. Hey, and so if you'd like to get more information on our Greeley Arts Picnic right here in downtown Lincoln Park, head on over to GreeleyArtsPicnic.com. I got that right, Andrea, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. And just to finish things off, head on out, enjoy the summertime here in Greeley in the evenings, catch a movie in the parks. And for more information about all of this for the parks movies, make sure you head on over to GreeleyGov.com slash neighborhood nights.